my name is Dave and in this tutorial I want to talk about some very basics of C sharp the the nuts and bolts if you will so we're going to talk about statements semicolons curly brackets and comments so I'm going to go ahead and go to code view you, you see I have a form here it just has one button it says click me I uh, want to go to code view and look at the code behind this form so I'm going to uh, right click and click on view code and just click on that and you can see I have some code here this is the the user interface the form is what the user is going to interact with but this is the actual code that does the processing this is the brains of the outfit if you will so we have some code here and let's take a look at this uh, uh, first line this is called a comment this is a comment it's a single line comment right and actually let's choose a different color all right so we have a this is a single line comment and note the uh, the, the two forward slashes and uh, tell C sharp that this is a comment this is this this is a note for you the programmer or anyone else who reads your code and it's just a way to sort of keep notes about the program to you know, maybe reminders or uh, just a heads up uh, it, so it's a, a lot of different purposes for it so uh, this is just a com there's a way to give yourself a comment so this is a single line comment but you can also do multi-line comments like this note the uh, the forward slash and asterisk in the front and then the forward slash uh, uh, the asterisk and forward slash at the end so this is a way to do a multi-line comment and in Visual Studio you can also use these buttons up here let me uh, draw a circle around these buttons here these are called the uh, these are the comment and uncomment buttons so let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uncomment this so I just click on this line so I have it I have the carrot on that line so I'm going to click on this is the uncomment, uncomment selected line. So I'm going to click on that, and it uncomments that line. And we click on this one, it'll comment that line. So I can uncomment, comment. Uh, say if I wanted to comment this line, I just click on this line, and now click on this button up, up top, uh, comment, and it'll comment that line out. And I can uncomment. So this is just a quick and easy way to comment, or you can just add the two forward slashes yourself, or uh, you can do the multi-line comment. So comments are just a way to give yourself notes about the code, right? It basically just tells the, the C sharp compiler to ignore whatever this is. This, this, obviously, the the compiler can't read English, so it, it just it just ignores those comments. So. Uh, comments are very useful as a way to, uh, to give yourself notes about the program. Uh, so that's all there is to comments. So I want to talk about a statement. A statement is just one line of code or, or execution. Yeah, basically, like this is this is one statement, just one statement. All this statement does is declare as a variable, and we'll talk about variables later. This just declare as a variable and assigns it the value zero so this is one statement and typically it's, it's good practice to put one statement on one line you can't right here I have two statements and I could put these two statements oh, let's do that I could put those two statements on the same line yeah, let's go ahead and auto hide this I could put these two statements on the same line if I wanted to I could put as many statements on this line uh, as I wanted to but it's it's makes it more difficult to read. So this is more difficult to read for humans to read. The the, the C sharp compiler could care less, but the, for humans uh, it makes it a lot harder to read if you put more than one statement on one line. So by convention, we just put one statement per line, and so a statement is just an execution of code. It's just one line that executes. Uh, some code, it's instructions for executing code. And note that all these lines are suffixed with a semicolon. You have to have this semicolon. The semicolon is what tells C sharp, the C sharp compiler, that that's the end of the statement. This is where the statement ends. 
it has to know where the statement ends or it's just going to keep going looking for more more code to execute so the semicolon is very important it's easy to forget that and you will if you're just starting you will forget the semicolon uh, we'll see what happens if you forget that semicolon in Visual Studio and then you see the little the squiggly line little red squiggly line there so that's your visual cue that uh, you're missing you're missing something there so if you hover over this and take the carrot and just hover over that line and, and it's giving you represents uh, well let's let's do this and okay so if you hover over it does it uh, <laughs> I thought it would give you a error message it actually does it but if you see the red line uh, you know that something's missing there and if it's the end of the statement it's you know it's going to be the semicolon so if you see that uh, red squiggly line at the end and you know, you're missing a semicolon and that's going to happen uh, you know especially you know, when you're first starting uh, so the semicolon is, is the terminator. It terminates the statement. It's a way to terminate. You're telling C sharp, you know, this is the end of this statement, right? So you can execute. Go ahead and execute this statement. It's not going to execute the statement until it, it reads the whole statement in, right? So it, it has, so it has to know where the statement in, ends. So that's uh, the deal on the semicolon. So okay, so we've talked about comments, uh, just notes to yourself. A statement, just one uh, line of, of execution. The uh, semicolons, what terminates the statement, ends the statement, or tells C sharp this is the end of the statement. And let's take a look at these curly uh, brackets by fancy drawing tools. Okay, so we have these curly brackets, also called uh, curly braces. Some people call them curly braces, some, some people call them curly brackets. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go with curly brackets for now. So these curly brackets, uh, they they denote a block of code or a block of statements. When we say a block of code, we're basically talking about a block of statements. And, the, and here we have a block of statements. These are uh, the various statements that we want to execute, right? So the curly brackets that that tells C sharp where the the code where the code block begins and where the code block ends and it has to know this uh, otherwise it's, it's just going to, to keep looking for a statement so so this tells C sharp this code block this block of code uh, begins right here this is the beginning of a block of code this is the beginning of a block of code and the closing curly bracket says this is the end of this block of code this is the end of this block of code so that's all the curly braces uh, or curly brackets do and uh, sometimes I call them curly braces uh, too so curly brackets curly braces whichever and note too that this if statement we'll talk about if statements uh, later on has its own set of curly brackets right and this is the beginning of the uh, the code block. This is a code block. Everything within the curly brackets is the code block. We call it the code block. And it's just a series of statements. It could be one statement. This is one statement. right? Note the, note the semicolon the, uh, that ends that statement. So this is one statement. Uh, but it could be a series of statements. It could have multiple statements. Uh, in, in within this code block, the main code block, we have multiple statements. We have comments up here, then we have several statements, right? And then within within this code block, there's only one statement. But we could have uh, more if we needed it. So this is uh, a, a sort of a code block within the code block, if you will. So this is the main code block up here, these curly brackets. And, and then each one of these if statements has its own code block. So every, anytime you see these curly brackets, that's, uh, that indicates a code block that tells C sharp where the code block begins and where the code block ends. So those are curly brackets. So let's take a look at the, the code. So this first line, uh, I'm assigning a variable, the, uh, the value 0. 
and the green squiggly line is telling me that I've, I've, just, I've created this variable, variable but I haven't used it and I actually don't use it in this program and we see we have two statements here uh, the first one is a string that says man I'm hot and the second one's a string that says man I'm cold and okay so if we look at this uh, boolean uh, variable is hot if this is a sign true if is hot is equal to true then it's going to call this method and pass it a string and, and we're going to talk more about you know, variables and uh, if statements and, and methods later on so if the code doesn't make sense to you right now and if you're just getting started it won't uh, don't sweat it we're going to come back to this uh, let's go ahead let's go ahead and run this code real quick uh, go ahead and run the There we go. So we have this form and I have a button called click me. I'm going to click on that and I get a little message box that says, man, I'm hot. All right, so let's go back to the code. Let's change this Boolean value to false. So now the is hot variable is assigned the, uh, the value false, the Boolean value false. So, this, so now let's run it. And before it said, man, it's hot. So this time it should say, man, it's cold. All right, so that's all it does. Uh, so there you go. So yeah, if the code uh, doesn't make sense to you, again, if you're, you're just starting, it, it's not going to make sense to you. That, don't, don't sweat it. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about variables. We're going to talk about if statements. We're going to talk about methods, calling methods, and passing values to methods. We're going to talk about all that uh, in, in uh, future tutorials. Uh, right now, I just want you to, uh, to understand what a comment is, how to create a comment. You use these two forward slashes, or you can use these forward slash and, and asterisk for multi lines. Uh, this is a statement. These are all statements, just one line of execution. You want to put one statement per line so it's easy for you, the human, to, to read it. You end statements with semicolon that terminates that statement, and everything within curly brackets is a code block. In and you, you want to be careful, especially if you if you copy and paste code from somewhere else. Uh, it's real easy for these code uh, for these curly brackets to get out of whack. So that's something to to be aware of. But everything within the, the curly brackets is the code block. So this is a code block. Uh, so that, that's uh, those are some of the the nuts and bolts of C sharp. And and there you go, there's uh, statements, semicolons, curly brackets, and